I can't catch a break, y'all. Listen, I just got reached out to by um, Satin Sanchez's um, brand manager, Brandon Lee Anderson, and he's, they're threatening to sue me because I did a reaction video to her saying how she can't curse or hex certain people that are really connected to God. And it's it's funny because this video is all over YouTube, TikTok, and many people have done videos on it. Now, I don't really know this woman like that. I know she did some video talking about Beyonce on Tasha's page or whatever. Watched like five minutes of that, right? So I saw this video, this specific video on TikTok, okay? And I reacted to it. It was like a 20-second video. And I used the word of God just to basically respond to what she was saying. And I'm being threatened for defamation. Didn't talk about any of her products or anything like that. Well, guess, guess, guess what, guys? That video is not being taken down because number one, um, Satin doesn't own the video. Her so-called attorney that's going to be inquired of doesn't own the video. Um, nothing bad was said in the video, and her brand manager doesn't own the rights to the video. All right. Um, and you know, I was going through my YouTube comments and I saw Satin comment, and she said, "You know, you got to take down this video. I'm going to contact YouTube." You either pay me or take it down. You can't use my likeness or my name or anything. And you know, it, it, it's just hilarious to me. Right? I can't catch a break. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had someone the other day that tried to sue me because their text messages got leaked by someone else. And I got tagged in it and I shared it. And they were talking about spirit traveling to go lay hands on me and cast demons out of me. And spirit traveling is demonic. People love taking scripture out of context, but I don't want to go too, too, too deep into that. And I was getting harassed by this fake paralegal in my emails, um, threatening me to sue me, to take everything down. I didn't take it down. I'm not going to get sued. It's just ridiculous. It's a fear tactic. But um, reading this, I'm just like, it's like, hi, I'm Brandon Lee Anderson, Satin Says Manager. Our team has sent a preliminary demand before filing a suit against Harley Initiated and both co-hosts co directly. I don't know why I didn't watch the live stream, okay? I guess they took it down. Uh, we see that you have a reaction video on your social media and YouTube page that includes clips from this interview, which has been taken down. Satin has retained an attorney and they are already informed of all your contact information, so they will contact you if our demand isn't met within 24 hours. She is prepared to move forward with suit if all content with Satin's name, likeness, uh, video, audio, or anything thereof is posted or was posted. Um, all must be removed immediately. This will be final correspondence. All further, further correspondence will come directly from the attorney for this case. Any videos you have using excerpts with Satin's name, photo, videos, or anything pertaining to Satin and what was, what was discussed in the now removed video will also need to be removed regardless of the topic. This is defamation. We are heavily we are heavily prepared to sue you personally. Thank you for your time. To sue me personally for using a 20-second clip and quoting Proverbs chapter 26, verse 2, a curse that is causeless will not land on its, land on its intended victim. And you know, to be honest with you, I don't think... Satin's even that mad because in her comments, she said, when she commented on my YouTube video, she said, you either got to pay me or you got to take this down. So she's basically just seeking clout and money because she's not benefiting from this video. Since it was taken down, you know, she's not getting any clout um, or anything like that. And I, I don't know. I heard that Tiffany Montgomery and uh, Kevin Ewing um, suggested, hardly an initiated to Take it down. I'm not sure. I didn't watch the live stream. I don't know the facts, so I'm not going to say that for sure. But it's like it's just it's just interesting to me how someone will try to sue you for responding to a public video, not insulting anyone, not attacking anyone. She's a professing, practicing root worker witch that proclaims she hurts people. Um, she can do bad things to people. She supposedly does good things to people, and all these different things. And I really came here to do no harm, right? I came here to preach the truth of the word of God and use public information, fair use on a video that's not, that's not, that's not owned by, by Saturn or a brand manager or, or attorney. 
all right? Used it for spiritual education. You understand me? But that video is definitely not coming down because guess what? Um, if witches and root workers can come on um, YouTube publicly and say all these things and, and whatnot, and we can't go and, and use the word of God and respond, this is what's happening, God, it, guys. It's like our freedom of speech is being attacked. If we respond, if we call out witchcraft, if we call out this, it's defamation. If we use the word of God to challenge this, it's defamation. Everything's defamation. Defamation, however you say, defamation, defamation, whatever, right? It's just, it's interesting to me. And obviously, guys, this is, this is, it's not legit. So I'm not over here concerned or anything like that. I will never be concerned by using doctrine, okay? Not concerned or anything like that, right? I'm here to open your guys' eyes. And this is like, this is a, this is a threat of a lawsuit two in one week. Um, and it's very interesting just for, just from using the word of God. And it's like, I, I truly believe people don't know what defamation is. I didn't lie on anyone. I didn't make anything up. I just responded to public information with the word of God to empower Christians. But I guess the witch Satan wants to make profit off of my video. And it's just, or my response. I think that's what it's all about. If she's not benefiting from it, she's like, nah, she's going to contact YouTube and all this stuff. And guess what? If YouTube takes the video down, they take the video down, but it's unlikely. I ain't worried about it like that, but we're going to stand ten toes down. And that's all facts.